Hey everyone, welcome to Dry Bar Reviews where we're doing more of a gaming type test and demonstration of the capabilities of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3. Um, and I'm going to be using Donut Titans here, especially since i got a lot of Donut Titan fans out there. And of course I'm a fan myself. And uh, one thing to kind of keep in mind here is, uh, yes, you know, part of the reasons I've hadn't had a lot of time to make videos is because I was more immersed into uh, testing out this awesome tablet. But at the same time, um, I was having fun utilizing it during the current uh, event and all that. Let's take a look here. So if you guys have seen my other videos, you can see that this particular game, Dawn of Titans, is very taxing. Uh, probably one of the most telling features is in the immersible world, when you look at something like a waterfall, you will see this on lower end items, like even the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge um, and phones that are of last generation. This will lag even here, um, making if this graphic is lagging, making even the interaction lag. But as you can see on this uh, very powerful Snapdragon processor, of course, it's four gigabytes of RAM, it's very smooth. Um, you're gonna get smooth interaction in the gameplay, and at the same time, you're gonna get smooth interaction with combat. So, let's do this. I, I do apologize, I don't have my main account on here. Um, there's a reason for that, by the way. For those of you who play Donna Titans, if you didn't know this, if you, interact with multiple devices on uh, your game center like I sync with game center it can actually mess it up to the point where it might even wipe your account so uh, typically you don't want to mess around with that until that's confirmed is not happening I suppose um, yeah we don't have very much going on here in this level one account do we do we even have a relic no relics what the flip all right, so check out the load screen times right so here we have a battle load screen usually it takes a couple seconds or so to load this actually might be my Wi-Fi. All right, smooth interaction. You can see the population of all the rendering objects. This idiot always likes to talk. Is the sound on? Do I have it on? I must have it off in the game. Oh, no, there it is. It's just very quiet. I have it down. Oop. All right. Holy Moses, that's a lot of spells. All right, so check this out. So this is about as good a quality as Dawn of Titans gets when it comes to gameplay. Um, each shadow is being rendered in this, you know, what's interesting about Down of Titans, by the way, that I found is in the settings, there isn't like a option to choose if uh, you want to increase or decrease graphics. It literally just determines from your device what you should be using. Honestly, I'd like a little bit more control of that, uh, but let's see here. Um, let's see the faded out guy there. And then this guy, you yeah, we'll put him over here. This guy, he can collect all the spells. How about that? All right. Oh, nice. So even in, compared to, I'm used to being playing on my phone a lot. And as you can see here, check this out. You can see the clouds rolling across and leaving this, this shadowed cloud. I mean, that's just beautiful. Beautiful. The art in this game is truly fantastic. Well done, art designers. What are you fools doing? Ah, right, whatever. My level 2 Titan isn't really that strong, so we probably should give him a little backup. How many people do we have to fight here? This is not good. It's a good thing we got spells. Why'd they give me all free spells, though? <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, really, there's no delay on commands to moves which is one of the biggest things when playing gameplay, especially in something like this. There can be quite a bit of lag in commands. And, oops, I was going to show the spells. I didn't realize that was objective. There's a lot of lag in commands, and there can be a lot of lag in the graphics themselves as far as maneuvers and turning the, the page. And the, especially, there's always tends to be a lot of lag in the victory screen. I'm not sure why that is. Um, maybe it has something to do with how it syncs with the server. But in any case, there you, can, there you have it. That's as good as gameplay gets on Donna Titans, even on the iPad Pro. Um, it was basically this beautiful with all the graphics at its highest settings and about this smooth. Um, there is something to be said about the interaction though as it's changed quite a bit. And that's one thing I'm really excited about and I promised I would show this and that's the gaming tool. So if you guys know anything about the Samsung S Pen and how it can pull up this screen, on the screen, like if I'm trying to show you something about the game, I can take a picture of it and not only that, I can go into the picture and I can say, okay, what are we talking about here? We're talking about, oh, I can choose the pen type. Let's do a fountain pen, huh? Highlighter pen. Ooh, a pencil? Is that what that is? A pencil? Huh? Let's do a red pencil. Um, okay. And we can say, all right, guys, check this out. 
Oh, that's not very bright, is it? Um, give me a, yeah, give me a, yeah, let's go straight highlighter. Boom. Yeah, there we go. You're like, all right, so this is where I attacked. Oh, wait, why is it faded? I haven't even, why is it faded? Huh. Okay, so a highlighter's like a interacting fade? That's interesting. I guess it is trying to highlight. Well, then let's just go straight up fountain pen. Calligraphy fountain, <laughs> calligraphy pen. Um, boom, boom. Yeah, okay. So what's neat about this is, um, now you get out of there. Boom. I mean, you can talk about stuff you're looking at. I mean, as far as game, uh, gaming videos, this is such a fantastic tool for that. Uh, because, you know, this, of course, you could be recording the screen the whole time while you're doing uh, screen captures and talking about something. And then you can go right back to the game. And just discard it, boom. Um, or you can save it, of course. And that's just the normal functioning of the Smart Pen, where you have these shortcuts and they have the right or the screen right option. Smart Select is also neat because just like Screen Right, where it takes a screenshot, you can just choose part of the screen to focus on, and then it'll take that, and you can save that, and you can draw on that as well. Right now, all that is just normal functioning for the Smart Pen including creating notes, viewing notes, translation, they can add shortcuts. So as far as gamers are concerned, what we have is this little icon here um, that sits in the corner, this little red icon. And what it is, is it's the game tools. So you can say, all right, no alerts during game, which I currently have, um, lock recent and back keys. So I can lock this out so I don't accidentally tap this, which is huge. I mean, how often does that happen to us while we're holding our tablets or phones, right? You can screen touch lock. If you want to make sure you're done touching the screen, I'm not sure if I'd ever use that, but I suppose it might be useful if you're drawing on the screen or um, try not to interact with the game while it's finishing some aspect of it. Uh, of course, you got your screenshot, which is similar to the draw element over there where it takes a screenshot. And of course, record and then settings. All right, so this is awesome because you can really tweak this a lot better than some of the, uh, you know, the free to use recording softwares out there. And everyone always asks me, what do you use to record? What do you use to record? I haven't fallen on a program that I truly love yet, but this might be one. Um, and it's nice that it's a proprietary to Samsung, which I don't say very often, by the way. Usually I do not like proprietary software, but this is nice. So um, you can show a profile image while you're recording. That's kind of neat for channel purposes. Uh, you can use the front camera while you're recording. That's fantastic. Of course, you can use none. You can have, use a microphone or phone audio, depending how... Um, wow, really? Audio from your phone? They must be in the tablet as well. Or you can use your external phone? I'll have to look into that one. That's interesting. Now, this is interesting that the maximum size they're going to let you record is 4 gigabytes, but that's 80 minutes. So, unless you're going to do something ridiculous. Um, now, this is neat, too. As you guys all know, I love to record in 1080p, so I will never do less than that. Um, and and there you go. That's uh, oh wow. Yeah, they got the auto function on bitrate, typically micro, uh, recommended. But here's what's neat. This is what I want to show you because what oftentimes happens as I play, especially Dawn of Titans, when I record, there's a bit of lag that occurs, right? So let's see what happens when I record in 1080p. Boom. All right. So we are recording now. If you want to check that, you can pull down the screen. And you're going to see in our notification here, tap to stop and save recording, right? So we're in the game. We're recording. Check this out. Um, oh, hang on. we got to zoom out. Oop. No lag, right? No change there in the performance. Um, no change in the found. Like, that's, that's its high-end graphics rendering, right? And then let's jump into a battle once again. Forge power. Surprise attack! Oh, not so much of a surprise if you're going to tell me it's a surprise attack. Can I do this? No, I can't. Hang on, fellows. I'm recording myself training troops. How pathetic is that? That's okay. It's a new account, so what we can do is just uh, train. Boop, 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 boop. And then we're going to skip. Ha! I just spent gems like an idiot. All right, let's see if we have enough to overcome the surprise attack. Nice. Pretty fluid there, pretty fluid there. We got a Torque level 3, really. He's beating me already. And then we'll do that. 430 per... 
Hang on. Let's see if I can at least get a relic, huh? No lag there? That's great. Sometimes that lags. I don't think that is really going to help me, but we'll equip it anyways. I assume this is still trying to be uh, teaching me spells. By the way, for those of you who play the game, Dawn of Titans, they've done a great job enhancing the tutorial for new players. Although because it's more immersive and you cannot skip it, uh, it's a little bit annoying for players that are trying to just test it out on a tablet like I'm doing. Because I have to play through a significant portion of the tutorial before it lets me free roam like this. And uh, it's <laughs> after the fourth time, it's gotten a little annoying. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I understand we're getting screwed. What? Come on. Okay, I guess I'll have to, huh? Alright, so let's just... Um, I'm actually not used to using a pen on this, and it is nice for uh, accuracy, because you can really see what you're doing. Alright, so let's do this. You go through... Oops. I'll just, just collect it. How about that? We'll just collect all this crap. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, a ton of fire. What? That's awesome. All right now, typically a noob, uh, I still haven't figured out how to deal with the with just the pen. Now, typically a noob player would just use those fireballs, but let's see if we can get them all into one spot, huh? Rawr. All right, stand. What? What's he doing? What in the world? Yeah, now... <laughs> Only had to use four. Is he still alive? Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, there you have it. You guys can see the spell mechanics and everything. It's fantastic. It's pretty good stuff. Um, no lag that I'm noticing that's, you know, compared to the device I normally use, the S6 Edge, it's way faster. Um, there's definitely going to be something to be said about the game itself always having a connection lag because of how it interacts with uh, with the server as far as that post, you know, victories and other things that you do in the game. So uh, that's always going to be there. But as you can see, I mean, you guys can see this to some extent through the game. Um, but let's take let's check out and take a look at our recording here and see if that showed if that translated to the recording. Boom! All right, so we record. Great interaction, by the way. I'll, I'll say that as well. Great interaction with uh, all the tools and game tools. Just very very comprehensive. You don't have to worry about it if you're leaving your game behind. It goes right back to it. Um, so here we go. This is what we just recorded. Let's just jump to something that's always oh, recording my audio. Was I laughing like that? All right, and of course, as I said in the uh, review of the tablet, you can make a GIF, right? You can make it out of any section of video, not only recorded video, but any video that you're looking at. As you saw with the section, like the section uh, select, you can do it, you know, by watching YouTube channels anything and that's really neat uh, typically we have to go to outside sources and programs and apps to make GIFs. the fact that this is something inside of the proprietary software on a Samsung tablet now is just awesome I mean for people that like to create content this is just a game changer when it comes to not having to download more stuff because um, this is designed to work alongside uh, the quick you know the quick menu in the Samsung along with the game tools in the Samsung S3. So there you go, guys. I hope that's a, a nice sneak peek on how this interacts with Donna Titans and games and, uh, and the tools themselves for games. If you have any specific questions on it, let me know and uh, maybe I can answer them for you. But there you go. One of the most graphically intense, of course, one 2016 is the most uh, 
I think what was it, like the best designed game of 2016. So this is one of the most graphically immersive games out there today. Um, and as you can see, you know, especially in the battle with real-time shadowing going on with the units, it takes quite a bit of processing power. And that's why things like the iPad Pro and the Tab S3 really are the go-to tablets for things like that if you feel like um, spending the money on that type of capability for the game you're playing. All right, guys, but there you go. That's a Samsung Tab S3 playing Dawn of Titans and utilizing the game tools to capture elements of the game as you play, even in high definition. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time on Drive-By Reviews.